American Safety Technologies is a name that the industry trusts when it comes to proven non-skid performance. Because a non-skid surface is designed to withstand heavy traffic, there will come a time when that surface needs to be replaced. This video will guide you through the necessary steps to achieve a long-lasting and durable non-skid surface so that you can take advantage of our battle-tested non-skid experience and innovation. Step 1. Surface Preparation A thoroughly prepared surface devoid of dirt, debris, and residue enhances the durability of the non-skid application. The primary method to remove the existing non-skid system and prepare it for the new application is by hydroblasting the substrate to bare steel. Prior to blasting, it is important to perform an SP1 cleaning to remove visible dirt, grease, oil, etc. to properly prepare the surface. Once the SP1 has been completed, clean the prepared surface by hydroblasting the substrate. For specific hard-to-reach areas that require detail cleaning such as pad eyes, hand tools may be necessary to achieve the adequate surface preparation requirements. It is important to ensure a minimum 3 mm surface profile in the blasted areas and minimum 2 mm in the hand-tooled areas. Also note that hydroblasting only removes the existing coating system down to the steel substrate and will not provide additional anchor tooth profile. Step 2. Primer Application A properly applied primer ensures uniform adhesion of the top coat and enhances the longevity of the non-skid coating. Start by setting up a mixing station and separating the Part A and Part B components from the kits. Pre-mix Part A with a jiffy blade until any settled material is lifted from the bottom. Next, add Part B into Part A and continue mixing for a minimum of three minutes until a uniform appearance is achieved. No thinning allowed. Then, apply the primer on all hard points to include slick deck areas, pad eyes, etc. Common application methods are spray and or roll. Make sure to achieve the recommended wet film thickness acceptable for overcoat with non-skid. Note. Only the carrier landing area does not require a stripe coat. Finally, let the primer cure as recommended in the technical data sheet and ASTM F718s before applying the top coat. Step 3. Non-skid application. First, light solvent wipe the entire primed area to remove all contaminants while inspecting the surface for any discrepancies. Next, set up a non-skid mixing station. Open the cans separate Part B, and set aside. Pre-mix Part A with industry standard mixing blade for a minimum of one minute prior to adding Part B. Mix for an additional two to five minutes until a uniform consistency is achieved. Once the deck is satisfactory to include environmentals, begin rolling the non-skid onto the intended surface using a fore and aft motion. For weld beads, make sure that they are cross-rolled. It is important to tape off specific areas such as deck edges and any and all areas not designated to receive the non-skid overcoat. Step 4. Top Coat Application After the newly applied non-skid is cured, you can move forward with the top coat application. As with the previous material, set up an MS200 top coat mixing station. Remove Part B and set aside. Pre-mix Part A with an industry standard blade until any settled material is lifted from the bottom. Next, add Part B into Part A and continue mixing for a minimum of three minutes until a uniform appearance is achieved. Properly identify and prepare the areas where the top coat is needed and apply accordingly. The AST line of top coat paints are designed to support all visual landing aids and more. Refer to ASTM F718s for further information. Following these steps will help ensure a strong and lasting non-skid system. AST Military Marine Non-Skid Coatings, together with grit and grip, where performance matters.